what what is your take on voting uh, living in the United States I, again I'm not talking about uh, you know the Muslim world I'm talking about a minority group uh, living here in the US and uh, this is one way to bring in the right people who understand you see that's the argument of one group but in the other who understand our position and our issues uh, but on the other hand, uh, you're legislating, uh, you know, in al hukmu illa lillah. No one, we don't need to explain it. Uh, please help us out, you know. We, we, we know we're bringing you for the tough stuff, you know, and, and that's why we have you here today. <laughs> well, you know, my position on this, you know, <clears throat> is based on, from what I've understood and from... Uh, what I understood from the lectures of Sheikh Nasruddin al-Bani, I used to sit in his classes in the Medina. And, uh, you know, he defended that concept, concept of preventing the greater evil. You prevent the greater evil. If you don't vote and the greater evil comes, you can only blame yourself. If you vote to, in order to prevent that greater evil, that candidate, who you know, this guy is anti-Muslim, he's this, he's that, and the other. If he wins, he's going to make your life hell. And you don't vote to try to stop him from coming, then you cannot blame anyone but yourself. If, you, if he comes and he does what he, you expected him to do, to you. So I'm in, in favor of voting where there is an issue of uh, greater and lesser evil, as far as we can determine. If there's no greater or lesser evil, etc., then uh, we don't need to get ourselves involved in, in that. But you know? here we have an, a problem with this, Dr. Bilal, uh, that the people who promote this approach, which is, like you mentioned, justified, they consider the others who do not participate uh, completely wrong and, and, you know, they should be removed from the equation, basically, that they still have a valid ground that they don't want to uh, participate in uh, uh, bringing in legislation other than the hukmullah, the legislation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Is it fair also to leave them alone if they don't want to do it then? Or... We, 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 well, of course, you know, we're in a situation of choice. But I would say to those brothers, brother, what are you doing in America? What are you doing there? You know, if you are not prepared to take the steps necessary to ensure your survival as a Muslim community, then it is better for you to be in a Muslim country. You can go to another Muslim country, you know, for example, the Gambia. You know, I spent some time in the Gambia. This is 95% Muslim. You can go there. Uh, you, if you vote, you're voting for a Muslim ruler. Uh, the Sharia is implemented. It's on the books there. You know, you can go somewhere else. You know, then no, it's better for you there. Uh, Dr.